I've been wondering the secrets of today's guest for a long time, but wonder no more, he's with us, John Higgins. John, thanks for your time. I wanted to ask you about your technique down the years, but tell us what you're working on right now. Well, just for the turn of the year, Alan, that I've been working on, it, it, it might seem a little thing to the, the viewers back home or fellow players, but I, I, I'm just trying to get my, my, my tip closer to the white at the start of a dress. That's what I've been trying to do. I've felt over the years, I've not been noticing that other players have been noticing where that might be my starting address. It was actually a thing you heard through, it was Ronnie O'Sullivan and Stephen Henry were having a gab about what, yeah. and you heard through the grapevine. They, they were doing it on a lockdown thing. I, I never heard it at the time. It was other people had told me about it. And I was thinking, oh, is that right? I, I, I never picked up on it. But then obviously I, I looked at my starting position. I'm thinking, I am, I am really far away from the white as, as I'm starting my, my feathers and my dress. So I've just been trying to get closer. That's all I can say. Play a couple then, a couple of punches. I'm, I'm just trying to, at the start, and then... It's like you get the payoff this side of the yeah. cue ball almost, isn't it? You know? I, I, feel, I feel as if I'm getting a lot more power. Ah, yeah, a lot yeah, more okay. power with less effort. Which you need in the modern game. But you need, well, you just look at the, how, how good the players are at the top of the game now. They've got so much power. They've got deafness, deafness as well, but they've got ah, so yeah. much power. And I was just thinking, how can I just try and add a little bit more in? And it seems to be working, but it, it takes a little bit of mental, mental energy as well, because I felt just at the end of the Masters match with, with Yan Bing Tao, whereas I'm trying to do it for every single shot, and I just felt near the end of that, my, 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 my concentration levels were dipping a little bit, and that's when I felt that I lost the match. Because uh, John's now, you've never been a big tinker guy throughout, throughout your, the whole of your career, almost. No, like. never. I've always just been myself and just the own thoughts and, mm. and doing my own things. And your sort of techniques already set, so you just go run with what you've got. Basically. Well, you would hope so, but then, as you say, now you're almost just behind the, the queue. You're maybe not just seeing that, maybe like yeah, inch. You don't get to see it. You're, you're not getting to see it, whereas other people are getting to see it. So. I don't know if that's maybe made a difference. It certainly made a difference mentally to my own head, but listen, it's not going to make me win tournaments. So who knows? But it's, it's just making me a little bit more confident mentally. I asked this guy one time about, I, I was trying to hit the middle of the cue ball, and he asked me, he says, what are you trying to say? the middle of the cue ball. And he said, what are you talking about? I always hit the middle of the cue ball. He does. He's good, this guy, isn't he? John Higgins, the wizard.